Halloween is just three days away, and while all those decorations have made your house look haunted, there's an old abandoned mining town in California that actually may be. Now, a century and a half after its heyday, the place is starting to come back from the dead. NBC's Joe Fryer has our Sunday closer. Perched on a mountain 8,000 feet above sea level, you'll find a rocky remnant of the Wild West, a place called Cerro Gordo. It's secluded, yes, but not too remote for the spooky spirits rumored to inhabit this ghost town. Or for the two city boys who now call this lonesome hamlet home. Well, we get a lot of questions, you know, who's the mayor, who's the sheriff. I'm happy with you being the mayor. By the way, there's not going to be any ego I'll take that. On that. Yeah. I'll take that. Yeah. We want to take the history. For a price tag of $1.4 million, business partners John Beer and Brent Underwood bought Cerro Gordo, an old mining town that first churned to life in the 1860s. This is the saloon? This is it. And still holds on to its stained glass charm. In New York, what does 1.4 million get you? Not such a great one bedroom in Brooklyn. <laughs> in the saloon, you can still find evidence of a card game that took a deadly turn. And if you look, you'll still see some bullet holes. And the legend is that this stain here is the blood stain from that day. You could clean up the bullets and the blood stains. Ah, part of the character. It needs to be rustic. It needs to, to hold on to the historical roots. That's why this place is so interesting. They plan to preserve that past while giving Cerro Gordo a facelift. If you keep pulling. The guys are now working to revive the town, hoping to make it a destination for business retreats and weekend getaways. Already, visitors are dropping by unannounced. Listen to the wind. That sounds neat. That's something you can not hear in the city. Yeah. <laughs> the town is a 360-acre stretch of land dotted by 22 buildings, including a general store, an eight-room bunkhouse, and one more thing. you got to be a he-man to open this door. Robert Damaris. How many residents are there here in Cerro Gordo? Usually me, myself, and I. This is only a VC. Damaris has yep. lived here on and off for 21 years, which means he too has a few job titles. Well, outhouse superintendent, fire chief. The first one you mentioned, outhouse? Outhouse superintendent. That's important. Oh, it is. I try to keep the outhouses somewhat pleasant. What do we He's got also right historian and tour guide, showing off mining equipment that once made this place California's largest producer of silver. For all the folks who are visiting here, how important is it for them to see all of this? I feel they should get to see what it was really like. What built California? What built our country? What made our country strong? Mining. And of course, he claims to have seen the occasional ghost haunting these grounds. They don't bother me anymore. They leave me alone. They know that I'm the good guy. As for the new owners... I'm not a big believer in ghosts. But if they do exist, the ghosts, like the guests, are more than welcome. For Sunday Today, Joe Fryer, Cerro Gordo, California. Joe, thank you very much.